Hey gang, Peter here from Crushing Comics with just a quick video today to let you know that we don't quite have Batwoman Book Club ready for you. Uh, Fangirl and I had an amazing conversation about this book, our first volume in the Batwoman Book Club, uh, but due to a myriad of technical difficulties on both of our side, this beautiful, awesome, hilarious, insightful conversation uh, is not of the quality that I want to give to you on this channel. So we're going to get together again and re-record it, but that's going to give you a couple more days to read this book or to read it digitally. So just to remind you, this contains Detective Comics 854 to 863. Uh, many of these issues are not just Batwoman stories. They actually have a backup with a story of the question, Renee Montoya in them, but we're not reading those stories. We're only reading the Batwoman stories because that's what's collected in this book, which is Batwoman by Greg Rucka and J. H. Williams III. So you have a few more days, and as you're reading, just because now I know some of the themes we're going to discuss, one of the things you can pay attention to is not only the art artwork, but the color work in the book, and how Batwoman is colored differently than some of her surroundings, and how Batwoman sometimes is colored differently uh, depending on who she's interacting with, and depending on the time. So if you're not somebody who usually notices colors in comic books, that's something that can direct your read as you're getting ready for Batwoman Book Club Co. So still happening, uh, and I appreciate if you read studiously for the deadline today on March 6th, but uh, it's coming to you a little bit later this week and of course for the rest of the month. So thanks so much for caring, thanks so much for watching, videos will continue on a regular schedule uh, for all the remaining days this week, and as always I really appreciate your support of Crushing Comics.